Hello, welcome to Unrestricted View Film Festival. My name's James Wren, I'm the festival director. And today I'm joined by Krissa Kutraku, the fantastic director from Baroque. Um, Krissa, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, what's your background? You know, how have you got to where you've got to? Um, yeah. Right now, I'm saying that I'm a film director and scriptwriter, but actually, I started studying something really different. I started um, studying philosophy and history of science, but after four years of studying, I was like, okay, I'm going to teach now. And I, start, I started studying filmmaking. Right. And yeah, uh, about like three years now, I'm actually only uh, in movies and working as a crew, as an assistant director or production assistant and stuff like that. Also trying to make my own movies. Yes. And, um, and is Baroque the, the first movie you've directed? Yeah, that's oh. right. Fantastic. So where, where did the idea come from? It? Um, you know, where, where, how, how did it all come to be? Um, actually, it's uh, something really different from the stuff that I used to write about. Mm. Um, I, I could actually say that most of the stuff I write is uh, are black comedies or sort of horror things. But um, and actually, Baroque started as a. But in the end, it it was something really different. Uh, I thought, okay, um, if I've done like experiment in my first film. When am I going to do it? So mm. I wanted to do something really different from the stuff um, that I'm actually writing. Mm. So yeah, that's how the idea came, like um, one really drunk night actually, uh, <laughs> discussing about relationships and love and stuff. And the idea came up. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. I mean, one of the things that really struck me with Baroque was just the fantastic art direction. Um, I mean, it's such a stylish film. I mean, from the outset, were you, was, was, did you have that sort of in mind? Did you sort of you know, very much want to make that definite sort of artistic statement? Uh, thank you for that. Actually, we had like an amazing art director, uh, Evelina Verzenda, the, the girl that was um, um, all about the costumes and mm. um, well, she actually uh, got my my mood board and stuff I wanted to show from paintings, mm. and she made something fabulous with uh, well, a really really small budget. So yeah, um, we wanted to be really stylish, like really out there, really pop and colorful, and I think we made that we made yeah. that happen. <laughs> I think you did too. Um, Whereabouts was it shot? Was it in a studio or did you use various locations? Uh, actually, it was in one studio. Uh, only one uh, of the film is uh, shot in a, in a house, in an apartment. Um, but uh, the whole, like uh, six of the seven scenes of the film are shot in a studio. Right, yeah. And um, and how long did it take? Because, I mean, every every scene is just so beautifully set up different costumes, you know, it's just, yeah, the whole, I mean, it can't have been a quick process. Um, so how long did Thank the whole you, shoot take? Uh, you mean the shooting, how, ma uh, how, how many days were the shoot? Yes, how many days, sorry, yes. Okay, uh, actually two. <laughs> One weekend. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's extraordinary, you must have been working so quickly um, um yeah the crew was really quick uh we had so many wonderful people that actually wanted really wanted to help out yeah uh, so yeah everything was really quick um and yeah really professional actually i thought it was my first uh, directorial thing so i felt like everyone there was so professional and i was like what am i doing here <laughs> 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 directing it all you're directing it all um so um i mean fantastic uh, cast and crew as you say did you know them before were these people you knew or met them the first time through this shoot um 
No, actually, for example, the DOP, the director of photography, is a really good friend of mine. We studied together and we became friends. So uh, she liked the idea. We wanted to do that together and actually see how this will go, you know, because yeah. we're friends, but we never had like work together. And it went fantastic, actually. And well, one way or another, we all knew each other. We were all all of us friends and we wanted to really work together. Mm. So it was like a, a really big group of friends making something. It was yeah. really nice, actually. <laughs> That's fa fabulous, yes. Um, so what's your next project? What, what are you working on at the moment? Actually, um, now that things are going better with the uh, uh, coronavirus thing, um, I'm going to work in two movies as an assistant director and also I'm writing my new short film, um, which is something really, really different than Baroque, to be honest. Um, it's more of a black comedy thing. Um, yeah, and I'm writing that. I really want to do that uh, this year. I hope I'm going to be able to do it. Um, and yeah, I'm really focusing on cinema stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Brilliant. Um, Okay, I'm just going to ask you uh, just a couple of questions that most people hate because they go, I can't answer that. Um, but uh, <laughs> who is your favorite director? That's a really hard question. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'm going to name, I, I think I have to uh, mention a Greek director because there is one Greek director that everyone know and I really, really love, and is uh, Yorgos Lanthimos. Okay. I really love his movies. Um, yeah, I really love uh, how he actually approaches like really, really hard murders uh, with a kind of a black humor in them. Yeah, I really like him. Fantastic. And um, if you were to pick your favorite now this one because i think for most people it, it changes constantly depending on your mood where you are in your, your life at that point um but is uh, do you have a favorite film that's um yeah um i have a film that i actually call my forever film and if someone asked me to choose it to watch it like every day for the rest of my life and not watch anything else uh, I actually think that would be Beetlejuice. Okay, okay, fantastic. It's the first time we've had Beetlejuice. That's great. I love that film. I think it's fantastic. You too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Chris, uh, um, so uh, Baroque is playing on Sunday the 19th. You can get tickets at unrestrictedview.co.uk. Chris, it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you so much. And um, Thank straight, you. After, straight after this, we're going to have a trailer for... Um, uh, free at last, our sponsor's TV show, Agatha Raisin. But uh, Chris, so thanks again. Congratulations on Baroque, a fantastic short film. We were absolutely chuffed to have it in the festival. So thank you for submitting it. Thank and, you so much. <laughs> and uh, I will speak very soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Who's Melissa? Oh, just a writer friend. Oh God, what's happened to us? You and Charles were all over each other. Hands off me, Froth. Agatha? There's no sign of James. Please, will you just come back to me? I need you to help me find out exactly who Melissa Shepherd was. We're from the Agatha Raisin Detective Agency. My wife says that you've been around asking questions. There's a dark underside to the Cotswold. It's not all such cottages and cream teas.